custard. You're not going outside, are you? I promised the gang a perfect outdoor picnic in Golden Delicious Park. Have you been outside? We're in the middle of a heat wave. It's hot, it's humid, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> says who? In the middle of a heat wave. It's hot, it's humid, it's horrible. Come on, how hot can it really be? Bye-bye. Yeah, it's a little toasty. Hey, hey, every berry. Oh, where's our perfect picnic, huh? It didn't go great. Oh. No! Ah! There's no way we're having a fun picnic in this heat. I wouldn't say no way. <sighs> you just need to bring your own outdoor air conditioning. It's hard being this cool. You wouldn't get it. <sighs> oh, we'd invite you over, but the fan's not big enough for every berry. But your strawberry shortcake. You'll come up with some corny can-do solution. That's your thing. <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa. Like we were saying, we're in this together. No berry left behind. Now would be a great time for one of those corny can-do solutions. Corny can-do solutions? <laughs> well, of course I have one of those. I hate to say it, it is too hot for a picnic. Aww. But the berries I've met, all the berries, have shown me anything is possible, as long as we do it together. When life throws me a problem, you in my upside down ice cream cone? I call it the topsy turvy scoop. If it's cold, count me in. <gasps> Your freezer is broken? Oh no! All that delicious cold ice cream is gonna melt! Oh, it's gonna be fine. How can you be so calm about this? I'm friends with the universe. Friends with the who now? The universe. Me and the universe have been friends as long as I can remember. Why be worried when I know the universe is always watching? 
Let me get this straight. Your freezer is broken, your ice cream is melting, but you aren't gonna do anything because... the universe? Oh, I'm gonna do something, all right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Good. Hi, universe. It's Blueberry. My freezer is having a bit of a day. I was wondering, if it wasn't too much trouble, could you send guidance? I may not be friends with the universe, but luckily, I do have a friend who can help. Sunberry got a broken freezer. Oh, that was fast. I knew I could count on my buddy, my pal, my universe. Ice Cube Bot projects waves of cold air wherever he goes. Aww. As long as he doesn't get too hot. Okay, time for plan B. Oh, we'll be okay, right, universe? The fan Tessie 800 attaches to the side of your freezer and blasts the coolest air. It's a little dry. Ah! <laughs> 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 okay, fine. Plan C. Universe, any time now. The Mecha Sparkberry Turbo Cooler will freeze everything in the Berry Works, including your freezer! Um, Lemon, quick question. Should the freezing machine be heating up? I'm gonna go in. No. My ice cream is melted? Oh, universe! Oh, we aren't the friends I thought we were. Blueberry, we're really sorry. Don't be sorry, friends. It's not you who let me down. It's the universe who... Made ice cream soup. Uh, ice cream soup? Oh! Whoa. Oh, silly me. The universe was right as usual. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? The universe wanted your ice cream to melt? Ha, I know. That universe so wise. Strawberry, can you bake me some waffle bowls? The universe is just like any friend. Sometimes they see things differently than you. That's when you have to really listen and trust that they're looking out for you. Who wants to beat the heat with a delicious bowl? Oh, yeah! Thanks, friend. Uh, can't argue with the universe. This soup is good. This may be the best cupcake recipe in the history of the universe. It's just missing one super special ingredient. <laughs> right, Lucky Spoon? Right you are, Strawberry. And that ingredient is... I dreamed the very best cupcake recipe. It had this perfect ingredient. It was, um, it, it was, it, it was the, hold on, I know this, it, no, oh, I can't remember what it is. Why can't I remember what it is? Come on, Strawberry, you can't be that far. Think, think, think. Uh, shortcakes? You okay? No, I came up with the cupcake recipe of my dreams, in my dreams. But I can't remember the last ingredient. Ooh, I've got just the thing. My Dream Grubber 3000. This baby uses cosmic waves to absorb all of your nighty nighttime thoughts. <laughs> kind of fair. <laughs> eh, it's still in beta testing. This is just like issue 37 of Terrific Tales of Tangerine Smash. Tangerine Smash was trapped in the dream world by her arch enemy, Night Mangle, and couldn't remember how to escape. <gasps> just like me. How did she remember? Her sidekick, Guava Girl's utility belt, gets them out of any jam. Well, a utility belt isn't gonna help with this mental jam. Ow! Ow! Lemon! I'm not wearing the helmet! Why am I getting shocked? Huh, is that a bug? Or a feature? A mystery requires a detective skills. Inspector Sherbet Cones always retraces his steps. What did you do yesterday? Nothing out of the ordinary. I woke up, cleaned my room. Then I had 
breakfast. I think it was toast with jam. Ow! Lemon! Oh, this thing is stronger than I thought. What else did you do? Complicated recipe. Huh. Yeah, just a typical day. Hmm. I can help you out. You can? Sure. Follow me. To remember your dream, you need sleep. To sleep, you need to be zen. To be zen, you need to meditate. Uh, 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 um, Strawberry, what are you doing? Seeing if any ingredients jog my memory. Chocolate, peanut butter, jam. Ow! Bean grabber, more like shock maker. Shock maker, huh? You don't happen to have a patent on that, do you? My friends were trying, but they were not helping. Seriously, not helping. If only my lucky spoon could talk, then... Ah! Top press buns! If I get one more... Wait a second. Gonna help with this mental jam. Ah! Jam. Jam! Ow! Yeah! Here it all small, man. Here it all small, man. The ingredient, the shocks were from J A M. Yes! Lemon's machine worked! Oh, my friends helped after all. Well, they're gonna be the first ones to taste my dream recipe. Ow! Here you go. Try it. Oh, you're gonna love it. So, what do you think? Now that's what I call baking it happen. Good job, Strawberry. Questions. No time to answer. Too busy! So, my favorite show ever, Fight of the City, is shooting their next episode at the Berry Works, and auditions are today. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm freaking out. Which one are you entering? None of those are good enough. I've baked for Kiki Keyline before. She knows me. My dish has to be amazing. Something she won't forget. Starting over! Our garbage smells delicious. Shortcakes is re-baking her cake. Again? She should probably hurry, right? Yes! Auditions are starting! Okay, you can do this, Strawberry. Just make one perfect dessert. This is from the Purple Pie Shop. You're supposed to actually bake? I want to be Big Apple City's next singing superstar. Ooh, wrong show. Wow. And your parents are raspberry ambrosia and mulberry tart? No wonder you're so good. Where are you, shortcakes? Finally done. On my way. Oh, perfect. Oh! Tough day, huh? What if they don't pick me? Then they don't pick you. Being on the show would be the icing on your whole Big Apple City adventure. But it's not the cake. The cake is your new friends and running your own truck and, and living with me, the best part. And if I'm not the baker I think I am, you won't know unless you try. Mm. And I'd say you are pretty fantastic. You know what? I am fantastic. Orange, I'll be there soon. Just stall Kiki Key Lime a little longer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she says, I'm tangerine snatch, and I am ready to... If you don't say bake, we're done here. Did you bring a dessert? No. This delicious exchange of energy is more than enough for me. You said this was rock candy? Nope, just rocks. Should I try eating this? I wouldn't. 
Okay, I think it's time. I'm here! I have a dessert! Strawberry shortcake! An actual baker! Where have you been? I was panicking. I was so worried I wouldn't be enough that I almost didn't try. But then I realized if I didn't try, I couldn't give you these key lime brookie cake truffles. Hmm. Aunt Praline is right. My life is already pretty flantastic. But if I don't get on the show, it's okay. But I really want to be on the show. <laughs> this was a tough one, folks. But there were two berries that were really impressive. Two berries who will face off in tomorrow's Bake Off. Raspberry Tart and Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah! of the city. We're coming to you live from the Berry Works, where two of our city's brightest bakers will compete to prove which one deserves to rise to the top. Yeah! First up, Raspberry Tart. Raspberry! Raspberry! Raspberry. Next, it's Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Since we're coming to you from the sweetest building in the city, Today's challenge will be an edible replica of the Berry Works itself. Bakers, it all comes down to this moment. Ready? Bake! This is it, what I've waited for. My time to shine, my chance to soar. The pressure's on, show who I can be. This is my shot right now. Check it out. Uh, we'll be right back after a quick break to clean up. So, neither of us won, but that's okay. I don't need to be the best. I bake because I love baking. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> a food fight? Raspberry and I realized something. We both love baking. We're both really good at it. Seems silly to be mean to some berry you have so much in common with. So, we're like... All friends now? After embarrassing yourselves on television, you're gonna need good friends. And of course, we have your backs. Actually, the footage of you two is going viral. Every berry loves it. Looks like I have some brand new competition. 
to squash. <laughs> By the time I close up, I have no energy left. You need energy? You ask this berry. You, me, tomorrow morning. It's gonna be epic! Do I have a choice? Nope. It's what friends are for. See you bright and early. Um, what did I agree to? I'm all about being the best me I can be. And now I can help Shortcakes be the best she she can be. What are berry besties for? Butters and croissants. Morning, Shark Cakes! It's 4 a.m., which means it's... Time to sleep four more hours. Let's go, go, go! Get dressed and get a move on! <laughs> this was a mistake. I should have... <laughs> what is all this? Time to work out. So, so let me just get this straight. I tell you I'm exhausted, and your solution is more exhaustion? Huh. Let's go! Yes! Woo. I am not okay. Shortcakes? Oh. I give up. I still have no energy and it's been, what, days? Weeks? 20 minutes. What? Orange, thanks for the offer, but exercise is clearly your thing. And I think we can both agree that it is definitely not my thing. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Friends are supposed to do things they like together, but she hates working out and I love it. I love fitness the way she loves baking. Oh. Ah! Orange? Why? Come on, I got you. Trust me? Do I have a choice? Huh? All this? You'll see. Working out is not your thing, but fitness is important. And since your thing is baking, we're gonna get you stronger doing what you do best. Go! Another! Again! Push it! You got it! Orange made a workout just for me! Hey, we should make workouts for each of you. Lime can lift books, Blue Ray can do arts and crafts relay. Lemon, we can squat truck engines! Uh, <laughs> Orange, I think maybe you energized her a little too much. It's the endorphins. Just leave her alone. She'll wind down eventually. All right, somebody get me a pad of paper. Let's make a list of workouts for every berry at the... Everything is going fantastic at Berry Works. Huckleberry Pie is fitting right in, and even bread pudding is cooled off. Mm-hmm. 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 No, here, let me hear it. Yes? No! What's wrong with the little music? It's a lot of music everywhere. I can't escape it. Just stay by your... You don't have a cart. Nope. I go where the song takes me. <laughs> Thing is, all Berry Works vendors need carts. 
No cart. No you. Huh. No sad strumming without a cart. <sighs> Bread pudding is correct. Every berry working needs a cart. <gasps> That's it. Huck can just work out one of our carts. It's a total win-win. Huck gets to stay. We get the help. Three blue blasts, two green meanies, one orange deluxe. Got that, Huck? Uh... Let's see how you do taking orders. I need a large lemon lime barricade blaster. Extra syrup, half ice. You need a small? Large. Extra syrup, half syrup. Half a berry. Half ice. Uh, got it. Right, right, uh, blast the syrup. No! <laughs> uh, Maybe help lemon instead? Wrench. Uh, no, no, no. Where did the chicken come from? Oh. Inspire us with creative new flavors. Oh, close your eyes. What do you see? I see vanilla. Uh, anything else? Vanilla ice cream. Maybe something more daring? Vanilla ice cream in a cone. Mind blown. Your energy is simple. You should share it with the world. Just not here. Okay, let's see how you do baking orders. The oven gets hot quickly, so... Make sure you use oven mitts. And... I keep the mitts right... Huh? What is happening? Nothing. It's good that music's my passion. I'm no good at anything else. I'm really, really sorry, Huck. No tears, my song will never end Because I have you, my awesome friends Who love my art, with or without a cart <gasps> That's it! Instead of Huck working in our carts, we needed to help him get one of his own. The Huckleberry Pie Barioki Cart! You all did this for me? Wow. Why are you still here? I told you, no cart, no way. And there is nothing that can change. Look, Brad, the girls made me my very own Barioki music cart. Barioki? Berry, berry, so contrary. Shake it up, pick it up, pick it me if I make it up, or you're gonna whisk me away. <laughs> da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Still got it. Pub cake? No! Here, boy! Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm assuming this issue of the terrific tales of Tangerine Smash is yours and not Pub Cakes? It's Pub Cakes' <laughs> new game. Take my favorite stuff to get chased. Not a fan. What are you two doing? Oh, uh, Custard is just helping me train with my lucky spoon by hurling dough at my head when I'm not looking. You country berries do weird stuff with your pets. What? This spoon is lucky. It's been passed down in my family from baker to baker to me. The extraordinary berry would not be as successful without it. You don't believe that, do you? Well, why wouldn't I? Shortcakes. Berries like us are successful because we work hard, not because of a silly old spoon. What's so silly about believing a spoon is magical and lucky and looking out for you and wants the best and loves you for who you are? Really? Listen, shortcake. <gasps> My spoon! I need it! Cupcake! No! We'll get your normal, not lucky spoon back! You don't know it's not lucky! The more I see, things work for me. I know good luck helped me through. My life is great, just trusting fate. I'm making all my dreams come true.
it's true Although we do things differently Hey, that's okay, we do it our own way It's clearly working, we agree Strawberry Shortcake, Kiki Key Lime, host of Bite of the City. I know! Yay! You remember me? Sure! The hardworking berry with the fab truck at the Berry Works. Yes, hardworking. Exactly. I was actually just thinking about where to shoot our next episode. What about the Berry Works? Yes! Sorry, yes! Wow, that'd be great. I think so too. Gotta run. Catch you later. Bye, I love you! Lucky I ran into you. Oh, yeah, it sure was. Lucky. That's just a coincidence. Uh, excuse me? We're looking for extras for the new Tangerine Smash movie. Either of you Tangerine Smash fans? <gasps> me! I love Tangerine Smash! You were saying? No way! Yoo-hoo! A luxurious lime! <laughs> Get rid of that basic bev and try this. The Elderflower Lemon Icy from Peels of Plenty. The best drink cart in Big Apple City. Welcome. Uh, what was that about? Bread pudding's been acting really weird all week. Try these hair ties. They're less black than yours. Welcome. Mm. Here. The history of doorstops? Yeah, books are your thing. Welcome. You have to up your frame game. Red, my glasses have a really strong prescription. <laughs> Welcome. I think he's trying to be nice. That's even scarier. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Red, <gasps> you're being nice to Lime in a weird snooty way. Why? What do you mean? Look, I know you and the other Mean Berries don't like me. Mean Berries? Seriously? Look. I'm a big Lime Chiffin. She's the only other berry around here with any style, obviously, since her dad is Fluffy Chiffon, the biggest designer in Big Apple City. You knew that, right? Sure I knew that. Yeah. I did not know that. Well, he just released the Fluffy Chiffon all-season multi-weather limited edition waistcoat. I have the best connections in the city, but I still can't get one. No. Uh. No. Hmm? Uh, yes! <gasps> No. Aww. So, you're using a sweet, smart berry like Lime to get some vest? No! I did some nice stuff for Lime, a berry I could be friends with, so she would be nice and get me a waist coat. You gave her a lemon icy from some other cart, a book she won't read, glasses she can't wear, and you insulted her hair ties. Have you seen her hair ties? Maybe Lime would help you if you were just honest. Right! Honestly, tell some Barry who barely knows me that I want a waistcoat her dad designed? Why would she help me? Because that's how friendships work. If you really think you'd like to be friends with Lime, then try being her friend. Trust me, because I am really good at friendship. Uh, hi, Lime. So... What Bev would you recommend? Sure you don't want to drink from Peels O'Plenty. Sorry about that. And about the book. Thank you. Listen. Not done. If you like the glasses, I can get your crazy prescription put in, no problem. Oh, that's very... Still not done. Your hair is fab, and the new hair ties would show it off more. But yours aren't blech. Oh, wow. I... Almost there. I did all that so you'd help me get your dad's new waistcoat. But I'm also a big Lime Chiffin. You're just so you. Then why are you always so you? I wasn't always a trendsetter. I used to be shy and a tad klutzy. 
And sometimes it's easier to make fun of other berries before they make fun of you. But some berries said I should try being honest. So, I don't care about the waistcoat, but I would like to get to know you better. Behind you. <laughs> my goodness, are you okay? Your, your... Bread pudding, this is my dad. Dad, bread pudding. Oh, then this is yours. Oh, I'm gumdrops. Uh, why? I may have overheard your chat with Strawberry. I'd like to get to know you better, too. You're kind of funny when you're not being snooty. But right now, you have a waistcoat to try on. <sighs> Sweetheart, it's on backwards. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> See, Custard? I told you I was good at friendship. Gather round, huh? gather round. Johnny Cake Cobbler's the name. Helping berries is my game. I've gathered ingredients from Banana Beach to Berryville. I'm from Berryville. To bring you this, my sensational sweetening spritz. <laughs> High taste bland, give it a spritz. Cake ain't brand, give it a spritz. What a bunch of dough heads. What? Johnny Cake Cobbler's great. So gullible. Like my friend Kiki Keyline says, don't waste time baking, it's the pits when you can just give it a spritz. Waste time baking? Kiki would never say that. She says taking the time to bake is the, the truest, truest expression, expression of, of affection. affection. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Um, Mr. Cobbler, I have a question. Will my spritz help your recipes? Sure it will, so spritz with ease. Oh, that's a fun rhyme, but uh, no. It's about Kiki Keyline. Miss, see how busy I am? If you don't want spritz, kindly scram. <laughs> okay. Wow, he even rhymes when he's mean. Conberries like him are a dime a dozen. He'll be gone in a week. Okay, I was wrong. Every berry is spritzenized but us. I know as friends we don't really fit, but truce until we solve the spritz. Fine. Just don't rhyme again. Fine. Yeah! It doesn't make sense. Where is he getting the ingredients? Berryville is far and Banana Beach is farther. Oh, ugh, nasty. Okay, this spritz is not sensational. It tastes like watery brown sugar. <gasps> what if it really is just water and brown sugar? What if he doesn't get ingredients from Berryville? What if Johnny Cake is a fibber? And what if he makes the spritz right behind his stage? What makes you say that? <gasps> Pardon our interruption, but we have an announcement. As of today, Raspberry Tart and I are hanging up our aprons. Our baking can compete with the spritz. Oh. So we're leaving to work on our baking in Strawberry's hometown of Berryville. Oh, you've been there to get ingredients, right? I thought I was very clear. I go to Berryville every year. What's your favorite spot in Berryville? The pumpkin patch or the orange grove? I, uh, uh, the pumpkin patch. There is no pumpkin patch in Berryville. I'm at the Orange Grove. Not one of those either. It's a really small place. Berries, Johnny Cake Cobbler is... A fibber. <gasps> His sensational spritz is just brown sugar and water. And I have the footage to prove it. Oh, I want to refund. I must say it. Uh, my friends, please. No refunds. Wow, we did it! We did. I I better go. Fight of the city's on soon. I know. I'm gonna watch it too. Hey, uh, do you want to wanna what? Hmm, never mind. Oh, uh, okay then. See you around. Welcome to Fight of the City! Ah! Jen Laws LaCrem is coming! She is the food critic for the Big Apple City Galette. 
A review from her can make or break a Barry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? <laughs> Cake pops, because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfugly atele between my legs. See what I did there? Sfugly atele? Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Genoise, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well, then, thanks. Okay, then, I'm going to keep an eye out for Genoise. <gasps> uh huh! That short, buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she. Right! And her hideous, wide-brimmed hat. Whoa! Yeah, that is not how I picture Genoise at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career-ending critical commentary. Thank you! <laughs> I, uh... Hello there! I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar! I'm... I know who you are! <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets, Cake Pop. I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma, I'll get the real Genoise La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is. Head sugar cake my day. <laughs> oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your grandberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. That's Genoise La Creme? <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out of town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up. Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> there, there. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Cranberry jam says the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mangosteen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. Mangosteen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton, carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should 
have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seriously? You insisted! I insisted because I thought you'd insist a bit more on return. <laughs> wow, orange is fast. You can see Sunberry, who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Wow. Did I mention Orange is fast? But hey, she's not going to beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lading? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I, I don't, don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make tripod, tripod and I'll lose my baking it's forever! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Clumcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangosteen's. <laughs> We're here at the Cuban Time Museum of Modern Art. Let's see how our bakers did. I love Fight of the City. Kiki Key Lime goes all over Big Apple City finding the best bakers. Could there be a more perfect show for me? As these cupcakes show, today's contestants proved a great baker needs to be a great artist as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you so get me, Kiki. Do you have what it takes to be the very best in baking? Oh, I do. Then I can't wait to come to your neighborhood and take a bite of the city. <sighs> Hello, is there a baker in there? Yes, Kiki Key Lime, there really is. Behind you, actually. <gasps> I'm just so happy that you're there, and it's just you're my favorite person. I love you lots. <laughs> I get that a lot. Hi, I'm in a rush to my next shoot, but I do need a quick bite. What have you got? Okay, okay, I can do this. I can totally do this. Don't freak out. Just take a deep breath. <gasps> Today, I am serving Lady Fingers. My cranberry jam taught me how to... Oh, I love Lady Fingers. But I'm wondering if you could add some organic hand-pressed key lime juice. And you know what I love? A hint of Costa Rican coffee where the beans have been sung to. They just have that extra oomph, you know? Also, could you throw on just a dollop of mascarpone cheese? If you can't, it's totally fine. But if you can, that would be more fine. Just need to grab some ingredients. It should take me. I have two minutes and 36 seconds. Custard, you're in charge. Orange, tell me you have key limes, please. Nope, just regular limes today. Can you juice it for me? Sure thing. Uh -uh. Hand juice it, please. Mm okay. You're the best, I owe you a cake. 
Sometimes it's easier not to ask. Lemon! Lime! Do you have Costa Rican beans that have been sung to? Why would I sing to coffee beans? There's no time for crazy questions! Seriously, who sings to beans? Every berry knows you read to them. Um, it was the best of beans. It was the worst of beans. No time! Lemon beans! Hot music! The best things in life. That'll do it! I owe you all five! That was weird, right? <laughs> no need. The universe has spoken. Mascarpone ice cream awaits. But how did you... Shh. You must go. I owe you some cookies. <laughs> Constructed tiramisu. Delicious! That hit the spot. Extraordinary berry, huh? I'll remember that. Bye! Did you hear that, Custard? She'll remember that! We did it! Now we can just relax and bask in the glow of this fantastic moment. Ahem. <laughs> Aren't you... We're getting something. Pies. That something is pies. Right after I bake those thank you desserts. <laughs> <laughs> Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So, Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay. Let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. I know. That's glorious. Six burners, four oven racks, and I hooked it up to the Sparkberry energy tubes in your truck. Powerful, energy efficient. This oven is not messing around. I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad a shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon. Let's see what your oven can do. Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No. Never mind. There it is. Um, Lemon. <laughs> Maybe the oven is a little too powerful, I don't know. What do you mean? This is great! Huh. Maybe I can turn it down. A little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? What's uh-oh? <laughs> Turned out great. 
I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm, yeah, smaller. Less explosive. Duh. Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on. <laughs> Introducing the Very Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. Uh, I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though, even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Uh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> oh, none! No berry. Okay, put that there. Over here, yes. Um, okay. Or here? Oh, I don't know. How are you settling in at the Berry Works? Still a little nervous. Nervous? Me? <laughs> no. What would, what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. A gift? Woo! And Praline, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... What baker doesn't need an extra spoon, hmm? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry, it's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance <laughs> once you get the hang of it. Ha! Get the hang of it? It's a spoon! <laughs> Let's begin. Total truth, Barry. I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. And now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. I mean, what else could there possibly be to... Teach me to... Uh -huh. That's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon.